So, the land of Splatoon G-Mod animations. Some of the most unpredictable kinds of animators are here. You can have someone who is practically amazing with their work, or you can have someone that's okay with it. But then, you have these guys. Yeah, these guys. The guys that don't do well with Gmod in general, and overall, their videos mostly don't make any sense whatsoever. No offense. And today, I'm talking about one of those guys. More specifically, Brian Jackson. But hey, I'll be fine! Look, I know this thing with BJ is getting old and stuff, but I figured I might talk about one thing from BJ other than drama. That would be his first ever animation, Wet Ralph. Now, this was BJ's actual first animation after he uploaded videos that were made by SpongeBill9, someone who was friends with BJ before the drama with him even existed. But since SpongeBill9 has disappeared practically, he decided to re-upload his work after he found them. So before he made the Wet Ralph animation, there were these videos. But we're not here to talk about them, we're here to talk about this. So I'm going to talk about the one video not even Lol Attack has talked about yet. Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about Wet Ralph. So the beginning of this video just opens up with a scene of showing BJ's house. To drink up and be merry. Life is for the living. Immediately, we're already seeing something wrong. This could have been just green screen for all we know. You, you can't green screen a TV like that? Is there a skin for that? Then we move on to seeing the group of BJ's friends. Well, ex-friends. Man, this is so cool. It's like you're playing a computer game, but more realistic. Okay, so the main problem with this video so far has just been slow scenes and the audio is kind of quiet for some reason. It's like a real life video game. Shh. Be quiet, Alex. But it gets louder once you, once you get to a certain point in the video. You'll see, trust me. Pretty cool. Yes, yes, we get it. Markiplier's a genius. I just ordered- Yeah, there it goes. There's the loud sequence. You want to know what this video looked like when I put it in Sony Vegas? Here. I am dead serious. It was like this when I converted this video. I have no idea why it was like that. Even when I first watched this video, I was confused about the audio. But it didn't bug me as much as it did now. Sweet! Me too. Just thinking about them is making me hungry right now. Me too. Senior. I don't think we needed to hear all of them or most of them say that they were ready to have some pizza. I love pizza, don't get me wrong, but I don't have to have to like say, Oh, I can't wait to order some pizza! They could have at least just said, okay, and then moved on with watching the video. That's what I would do. Like I said, the pizza will be here in 35 minutes. Does it really matter if the pizza takes that long? Come on, that's that's how long it normally takes. It's most it's like 25 to 30 minutes at most. Ever rarely do pizza deliveries ever come an hour, at least from what I remember. But still, is it really that bad if a pizza delivery takes that long? No. No, it's not. You'll be fine. It then moves on to this really awkward stare with ghost claws and venom. It finally stops when BJ finally says... Hey, Claude. So, I just timed this. 12 seconds of time wasted. They could have at least done something. That's just like saying that you were at a party and all you did was just this. It would be pretty freaking boring, wouldn't it? Especially in a movie. Yes, BJ? Where's your brother? He was supposed to be here. Hmm. 
her arm didn't even move and she didn't even move and it was just like in a thinking position. That's kind of lazy. Don't know. Same pose as last time. I guess- Okay, so now it goes to the thinking pose. Come on, BJ, what the hell? Skipping a bit, we move on to Jerome, who's... <laughs> 13 seconds of just noises like that. That sounds like he's about to shit his pants. I don't know what's going to kill me. The animations or the sound effects? Oh, when is the pizza going to be here? I'm so hungry. Ah, nagging. Isn't that what children do nowadays? Then we have this long-ass scene of everyone just staring at Jerome. This takes forever. What? The scene alone, that's what. Oh, come on! Being starved to death is much worse! Have you ever thought about just, like, getting a snack or something? That's what I would do. I mean, I still do that all the time, and my stomach feels like a black hole. To some people. <laughs> they sound like zombies. Is this a zombie invasion? Fine! I guess I'll do that! Get out the way! Move! I like how they tried to make Jerome the asshole in this group. <laughs> Even though he- Oh, like, he may be the older brother, so he might be more mature? Unless he's one of those guys that just- Thinks he's hot shit. Kind of like BJ himself is. That doorbell scene took a lot longer than it should. So, despite the fact that BJ has horrible and slow animation, apparently he makes it to the door at record breaking speed, and look who it is it's Ralph Skipper. So, where are Claude's and the others? They're all upstairs watching YouTube TV in my rec room. Wait, you have YouTube television? Yeah. I'm the richest inkling in the neighborhood, remember? How much money does your OC make anyway? Better yet, why did you make your character the richest inkling in Inkopolis or in the neighborhood or whatever? I also order pizza for everyone. So it should be here in about 30 minutes. Shouldn't it be shorter considering that time has moved on in this video? Like, it could be 15 minutes by now, or maybe 20 or something else? It's especially sad for Mario Maker, because I was really hyped about it. But I burned out pretty quick. Okay, two things. One, you're on fire or electrocuting already. Two, Ralph isn't usually like that. I can tell because I've seen Claude's videos. So this is pretty much out of character of Ralph. Pretty much. He's usually the calm collective kind of guy. You're on fire! I'll save you! Wait, what? Ah! Clearly somebody has been thinking of SpongeBob SquarePants in the Christmas special. Now we move on to another long ass scene of just people being shot. Okay, this time, I want you guys to guess how long this took. You want to know what the answer is? Okay, three, two, one. Ten seconds of just this long scene. Fuck me sideways. There are more undead voices. Damn it, Jerome, you stupid asshole! When was the last time you ever heard Claude's cursed in a video? Don't answer. Jerome, you asshole! Now Ralph is cursing. When do you ever hear him curse? Never. Not once have I ever heard him curse. Awkward. Yep. It is totally awkward. This whole video has been awkward lately. Of all the staring and stuff, mainly. Callie man, please borrow your shovel! Oh, sure, you may. Here you go. Say what? What is your obsession with turning the head 180 degrees? Why can't you just turn the entire body? And why with the neck snapping effect? <laughs> that felt really, really slow. After that fiasco with Jerome, 
BJ asks if Venom and Alex can throw Jerome into his room, which they did. <laughs> Hand motions. They are really slow. Again. Everything about this video just feels so slow. This 18 minute video just feels so slow. This could have been a lot shorter if the movement speed was a lot faster. After BJ said that Ralph can borrow some of his clothes, the doorbell begins to ring. BJ then begins to slowly walk down the stairs to open the door. It's about time. My friends and I were waiting for you. Am I the only one that thinks it's obvious that this is Jack Tropolis? No? Come on guys, it's pretty obvious. So the pizza finally makes it into the kitchen and... Jesus Christ, their faces look like they're about getting ready to rape someone. Are they all, like, chewing at the same time? Because that's what it sounds like. I mean, they didn't have to put the frickin' chewing sound effects in there. I mean, it could have just at least showed people eating pizza one at a time. BJ then compliments about the pizza before he begins to find out that the taste is funky. Stop eating! The pizzas are covered in mini mushroom slices! What? Insert Windows Movie Maker effect there. Oh, that's just great! The pizza was covered in mini mushroom slices! You know, I'm surprised his mouth didn't open that time. Eh. It's not like he can do lip sync anyway. Oh, I knew those mushrooms taste familiar, and I know exactly who's behind all this. I know! It was Jack Trapless, always pulling pranks! What?! Why that son of a- You know, if that was any more high-pitched, I'm pretty sure my ears would have gone deaf. But, I told you it was Jack Trapless. So after a Mario sound effect, it goes straight to the end credits, and that was Brian Jackson's Wet Ralph. All in all, this video just felt really, really slow. In terms of, like, the movement. The voice acting was alright, it could have you it was some work for certain people. But overall, this video just felt slow in terms of the movement of the animation. It really just makes it more of a, like, a... PowerPoint presentation than anything else. I mean, Go Anime is better than this animation. But overall, this video just felt really slow, in my opinion. And some of the things were kind of repetitive as well, like the sound effects, for example. That I, was probably the one that would kill the, all the animations, in my opinion. The sound effects was just... Ugh. But overall, even though I'm not exactly like a full-on good writer, I would probably rate this video either a 2 or 3 out of 10.